Hey everyone, welcome to the show today. We are here at Lake Miraval in far east Texas, close to the Texas-Louisiana border, and we're going to be chasing channel catfish during the spawn. It's my favorite time of the year to catch these fish up shallow, and we're even going to unveil a new secret out deep. I better make sure I've got plenty of ice in my fish chest because Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. You're watching the only program with weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Hey folks, let me ask you a question. When's the last time you put a full limit of fish in the boat in just a few hours of fishing. I'm Captain Michael Littlejohn with my wife Terry from Lake Tawakini Guide Service. And folks, we've moved east today. We're in the far piney woods of East Texas at Lake Miraval, which is about 45 minutes from the Louisiana border, nestled really in the deep heart of Southeast Texas. And we're gonna be chasing channel catfish. We're gonna take techniques that have worked on Lake Tawakini for years, and we're gonna bring them to a lake we've never fished before. And I guarantee you, these techniques that we're gonna to use today are gonna to work on any lake you fish from Florida to Texas. Also, we have weekly fish reports from your local region. But first, back to the studios for your weekly planner. Hello, nice to have you with us. These lunar tables show both days of the weekend to have fair fishing conditions. Peak activity will take place early morning or late afternoon with time starting at 3.13 on Saturday and 3.48 Sunday morning. Afternoon action picks up around 3.38 on Saturday and 4.13 on Sunday. Look for the sun to rise at 6.35 and set at 8.36, and evenings will feature a moon that is 89% visible. Stay with us for freshwater and coastal fishing information from around the region, plus I'll return with Major League Fishing Angler Jacob Wheeler for this week's Ask the Pro Question. We're coming right back. We're actually got a great setup today. We are greeted with uh, a lot of high pressure. We got a windy day uh, forecasted, which we're getting out early. The sun's just now coming up. But really, you, you can't always pick the days that you fish, but if you can, a windy day is the day that you want to catfish. Uh, you know, these catfish like to bite on these windy days. It's gonna be partly sunny. We're midsummer here in Texas. Um, the channel cat spawn is on right now. Some of the fish have actually already spawned out. We're sitting at 80, 83, 84 degrees. We don't actually have to find these fish today. We're gonna, we're gonna have them find us, okay. which is what's <laughs> unique about this type of fishing. Um, you, we can actually control into some degree the actual fish. And what I mean by that is we're gonna, we're gonna go out and bait some holes we're going to use uh, range cues, we're going to use uh, sour grain, and the great thing about channel catfishing is, is, that, is that if you bait it, they will come. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Lose, Feel the Difference, Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland, the best in bass and crappie lures, heads to tails, Glacier Glove, stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats and shades, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, request our free 2019 fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Oh, he's on, he's got him, look at you, he smoked him down. What's amazing, look at that big old channel cat, that's like a two and a half, three pounder right there. You know that that cork is getting ready to just like fall out of the sky right there. Oh, he's on, he's got him. Look at you, he smoked him down. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that fish up on top. Wow. Well, oh, the channels are really big over here. Here, took it under. There he is, here he comes. I think what's, what's amazing, look at that big old channel cat. That's like a two and a half, three pounder right there. There you go. That's look it. at there. I'm loving You know what's amazing already. about not only this lake that we're on, but everybody in our region has got fish like this. This is this goes back to when your grandpa used to take you fishing. This is catfishing. One of my favorite ways to catch these channel catfish during the summertime is on a bobber. There's actually a couple of different ways that we're gonna we're gonna catch fish today as my wife catches another fish in the background here. Guys, using bobbers in the summertime 
is probably the most effective way to catch these channel cat and the key is is to catch these fish while they move up to spawn. Catfish spawn anywhere from about 77 to 85 degrees, talking about channel cat, and all you've got to do is position your boat near shallow structure. In this case, we're, we found a little patch of rocks down on the dam. Uh, we spent a little time uh, getting this spot ready. We, we put out some, uh, some chum. You can use range cubes. You can use soured grain. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the range cube and soured grain here in a minute. But uh, I like to use a regular bobber. It's a three and a half inch bobber. Uh, you're going to fish anywhere from two to six foot. Throw it out. And guys, it doesn't take long. Once you get these fish going, you can catch multiple fish on bobbers. Hot weather in the coastal south means it's kingfish season all along the uh, southeast Atlantic coast and along the upper Gulf Coast. But first, this from our good friends at Foreshore Transportation. Foreshore Transportation, the simple solution to all your freight hauling needs. Foreshore can ship freight across the country or across the state. Whatever the load, wherever the destination, Foreshore gets it done fast, safe, and hassle-free. Well, the Georgia coast is famous for summer king mackerel fishing. Uh, most of these fish are 10 to 20 pounds, but there's some plenty of big fish, uh, so-called smokers that are over 20 pounds, and 30 and 40 pounders are caught every year. Uh, this king mackerel fishing goes on from Savannah to the Golden Isles uh, in southeast Georgia near Brunswick and St. Simons Island. The beach fish tend to be a little bit bigger. They'll sometimes weigh 20 to 30 pounds, uh, and it's uh, mostly slow trolling with live menhaden baits. You can't net the baits in the morning, and then hook them up and uh, pull them behind a boat, two or three lines out behind the boat, and the canes come up and uh, hit those troll baits. Uh, there's some bonus catches when you're doing this. Sometimes you can catch some very nice cobia. Uh, there's uh, also some sharks will come along periodic periodically. There's some big ones. Uh, in Mississippi and Alabama, it's midday fishing for triple tail. Some of those fish are really big right now, 10, 12, 15 pounds, particularly in the Mobile Bay area. Well, that's it for the coastal south. Get out in the water and take a youngster with you when you go. Oh, we're, I see a double coming. I see a double coming. Who's gonna get them first? Hi, you. Oh, she, oh, 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 I got mine. Oh, look at that splash. Oh, what a fish. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, look at that rod bending. Now, come on, get out there and get that one you just missed. I'm about to, I'm about to. Look at there, guys. Can't let him outfish me. What a fish, guys. Look Beautiful. at that, go ahead, buddy. If you feed them, there he is. If you feed them, oh, he will come. Oh, that's a good Look at that, cat. nice. Guys, this is, we're catching these on every single cast. Look at this. Look at that. That is a awesome, awesome shot on a bobber, on some cheese bait, Lake Muraval. Never fished it before. No. And look here, it's putting them out. The best part about punch bait is the fact that it's punch bait. Hands free, you do not have to touch this bait whatsoever. You simply take a spoon like this, this is a wooden spoon, it's got a flat end on it. I'm gonna grab the treble, just like this, outside the bucket. I'm gonna punch it three or four inches into the cheese. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out at a 45 degree angle. And every single time, you're gonna come out with a perfectly baited hook, just like this, ready to drop in the water and catch another channel cat. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at that, that is a great ah, fish. That is a big fish. I haven't gotten bit yet. There he's on there. Got Look it. at you, you got him. I'm coming in right behind her. <laughs> I'm coming in. Watch out. Oh Look man, out. you're smoking oh. it down, girl. That's a good fish. Oh, there's another one. Doubles. <laughs> oh, this one's headed out to sea. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at this. Anyway. Oh, this one hadn't come Ooh, up yet. Look at yet. this one. Oh, look at that. That is a great ah, fish. That is a big fish. <laughs> you know, one of the wow. neat things about what we're doing here a male. is that the, the, here in the state of Texas, that's a male. Look that's how big that male is. You male. can tell he's a male because he's got that big oversized head. Yep. And then I've got, Look I've got a that. female. But what I was saying is, is that in Texas, you can keep 25 of these things a person. So, and there's very few things that eat better than channel catfish. Uh, which is great. I think there's so many of them in there. Look at this one. This one got hung on its side, uh, and he fought better because of, because of that. But 
Um, I think, here's the deal. We've never fished for catfish on this lake. To be honest with you, we had no idea we were coming until until yesterday, really, right? Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Yeah. And we just got on Parks and Wildlife's website and found a lake somewhere in East Texas. We didn't want to find a big lake. We wanted a small lake. Right. And we just found a lake that Parks and Wildlife said that the catfishing was was good in. So we've got we've got two channel cat here. Guys, the pot's wide open right now. On your catfish, your uh, your males are going to have these oversized heads. They look like a big knot head, a big bull head. That's a channel cat, and normally the channel cats, especially this time of year, midsummer, they're going to be darker. Uh, this fish has got a six-pound head on a two-pound body, <laughs> and uh, the female is going to be totally opposite. She's going to have a real small head, a small mouth. She's going to be bigger across her back, and she's going to have a lot more meat on her. I, I like to let these these males go. You don't get a lot of meat off of them. We're actually going to do that. We're actually going to keep a few fish today. Terry's going to let that nice male go. There's a lot more females in the lake anyway. Hey guys, this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama Fishing Report is brought to you by Can Cooker. Uh, if you go to their website, cancooker.com, and dig around a little bit, you will find tons of products that are just going to complement the way you prepare your wild game and your fish. From the actual can cookers themselves, which we love in my home, to spices, seasoning, cookbooks, uh, cutting boards, everything you need to up your outdoor cooking game, cancooker.com. Uh, you know, in Tennessee right now, it's 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 kind of the dog days of summer, and the best reports I'm getting are coming after dark. Center Hill and Dale Hollow both are, are exceptional right now. The night fishing is really good. Uh, uh, channel swing banks, points, um, you know, main river banks, those things are really good right now with a big, you know, at, at least a 5 8 ounce spinner bait. If, it's, if there's a bright moon, use a bright blade. If there's no moon, use a dark blade. Uh, in Alabama right now, Gunnersville's hard to beat. Just flipping the grass on the main lake, just take you a big weight, a big jig, big piece of plastic, uh, hit the ends of them where the current hit, and in Mississippi, Ross Barnett. Um, it's hot, a lot of shallow fishing good there, a lot of good frog fishing, a lot of good square bill, top water, spinner baits, um, just a lot of good stuff going on there right now. So guys, check it out, get around here. Uh, this region's really good, it's just really hot, so bear that in mind as you are out chasing down fish. So take care of yourself. We'd love to see you here. God bless. Buck Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Motor Guides Wireless and Easy to Use XI3. Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist. Strike King, Taiwan On. Nitro Performance Fishing Boats, because champions aren't born, they're made. Yes. Got him. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. Girls rule, boys drool. I got an idea. My bobber versus your bobber. Okay. Okay. Husband versus wife, man versus woman. Okay. Here's the deal. My bobber's gonna outfish your bobber. <laughs> so take your first cast. Let's roll. That's all right. Let's Come on. All right, let me get in a spot. Uh, look at there. Oh, she got in a good spot. All right, I'm going to come right in next to her here. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Come on, Court. Oh, 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 crap, I missed mine. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, no. fish, don't let me down. Let me get some bait real quick. Don't let me down. I fish. still got a shot at this. I think it's, right, here we my go. cork slowed too far out. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. No. Girls rule, boys drool. Is that what they say? <laughs> oh my gosh. I missed my opportunity. Nice. That's a nice fish. channel. Go. Oh, I'm under. I missed him again. It didn't. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy. We have to outfish our husbands. A lot of fish in this lake. When you're when you're baiting a, a channel cat hole, you, two different things are really necessary. One, to start the hole, I like to take uh, cattle cubes or range cubes and put them out. That starts the hole. That's kind of a slow release. They dissolve. They take about six to eight hours to completely dissolve. And that's a great, great uh, bait to use to get your fish initially to the spot that you need them to be at. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and pour some in right now. We've got a, a bag of range cubes. We've got these at Tractor Supply. 
That's a full 50 pound bag. I take them. I'm just gonna dump about half the bag right there. And that's all I did. I didn't, there's nothing special about that. And that's what you're gonna use to start your hole with. Um, after you've established a hole, I like to take your sour grain and I keep it in a five gallon bucket with a screw top lid so I don't lose the lid. And I use a grain scoop right here. And there's your, there's your sour, so this, in this case right here, this is Milo. And I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna broadcast it right down this, just like that. A couple, I, I don't like to throw it out real far away from where I'm fishing. I'll take it and I'll put it right down where we're gonna fish, which is right there, just like that. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's report. This week brought to you by the Crazy Sister Marina, located on the Marsh Walk in Burles Inlet. We're the leader in water sports. We have been for years. Visit our new website, crazysistermarina.com. Check out our new interactive website. We've got great videos on there. So go visit that website and check out what's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. In saltwater, if you're a genuine red snapper fisherman or an offshore fisherman, it's that time of the year. The next two weekends, it's time to get out and target those red snapper. One per person, but I tell you what, you can find some big fish right now. If you want to stay in shore, don't head out to that 120 foot of water. You're going to find a lot of big red snapper right now on those live bottoms in 65 to 85 foot of water. Get out there, big live baits or some big cut strips off of some um, other bottom species that you catch. Don't fish on the bottom. Let that lead hit the bottom, crank it up two or three times, get it up off of the bottom and you can get into those snapper column where all those snappers are hanging out. Remember, go to South Atlantic Fisheries Management Council and download the My Fish Count app so that you can make sure that you get involved in the citizen science and keeping that data up to date with the South Atlantic Fisheries Management Council. This has been your Carolina's Report brought to you by Crazy System Arena. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. A couple things about cleaning fish. Uh, first of all, with Channel Catfish, you're gonna to wanna to take these fish home. Uh, it's unlike a lot of fish in the lake that swim. Channel catfish is one of the steak of the lake. And you know, for years and years and years, my grandfather skinned these fish and it took a long time to clean these fish. But really, with an electric fillet knife, it just takes a few seconds to clean these fish. Uh, they're great table fare. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean one here for you. Just start right here behind the back here. Just take right down and just come right down his backbone just like that, flip him over and just pop it off just like that. It's that easy, guys. The filet is done. Pull out that, that rib cage and you have a perfect boneless filet that literally took seconds to clean. Just turn this fish over right here. Get this rib cage, flatten the knife, comes over, take it, pull it off. Real simple, pop off that little edge of the rib cage and look here, guys. Within just a few seconds, we have two perfect boneless filets ready for the grease. I want you guys to notice this. Don't think that these fish for a second don't eat the chum that you put in the water. Look at here. This fish's crawl is full of both range cubes, that's the brown stuff, and then look at the, look at the soured uh, grain in his stomach. I'm telling you, if you feed them, they will come. <laughs> you can always watch our latest episode on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Catch up on past episodes and learn about fishing techniques and new gear at our how-to page. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for new fishing videos every day. Simply search for Fox Sports Outdoors and click the like button on Facebook and the follow button on Twitter. And watch a new episode every week on any device by downloading the free Waypoint TV app on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, America's number one fish finder, Falls Out, made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Welcome back everyone, it's time for the Ask the Pro segment where viewers get expert insights from professional insiders. This week's question comes from Frank who asks, should I tie my lure directly to braided line or should I use a leader and if so, what? For the answer, we checked with MLF angler Jacob Wheeler. Well, that's a, that's a great question. For me, one thing that I'm always using straight braid on is a frog, a buzzbait's another great one. Anytime you're fishing super heavy cover, that's when I'm gonna be tying straight to braids, 30, 40, 50, 65 pound braid, those for those heavy cover applications. For my finesse tactics though, 
Most day, day in and day out, I'm gonna have eight pound suffix nano braid on my reels. And I'm gonna have that connected to either an eight pound or a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the advantage is you're being able to cast further with that spinning rod with braid on it. And that lighter braid is huge, huge deal over having that heavier braid. It's super small diameter, only probably two or four pound diameter. And some of the knots that I use, the Yucatan knot, the FG knot's probably the best. It takes a little bit of time, but once you get it down pat, it's awesome. Thank you, Jacob. If you have something to ask one of the pros, simply visit our website and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit your question. Now let's take a look at this week's Big Catch winner. This week's winner in the Big Catch of the Week contest is Shane Hall of Easley, South Carolina. With this giant 11 pound largemouth bass, he caught out of Lake Kiwi, South Carolina. To enter the contest, go to foxsportsoutdoors.com, click the Big Catch of the Week box on the right side of the homepage and follow the instructions to send in your big fish photo. Okay guys, on today's trip, I wanna to talk to you for just a moment, show you the gear that we use to catch these fish. It's kind of a cool way we've rigged this. Uh, today, we used a 6.6 uh, six medium light uh, spinning rod. The braid is key because the bite's gonna be light. But I want you to check this out and how we rig this. I have a quarter ounce worm weight right here crimped on, directly on to the braid. Okay, and it slides up and down. I can slide it in any position. I like to run it about six to eight inches above. A 4X number six treble hook. 4X is your strength. If you use anything less than a 4X, when you go to bend these, uh, or take these hooks out of the fish's mouth, uh, you're going to, uh, you're gonna bend your hooks. And another thing that we've used today is, is our punch bait. Uh, this is a two and a half gallon uh, batch of uh, Mr. Whiskers punch bait. Any punch bait on the market is going to work. Uh, stubbies, if you like a, a more of a dough bait, the Stubbies bait is a good bait to use as well. Again, we use the, uh, the wooden spoon to punch the bait in. Works really good. I like to use as big a bucket as you can use. It makes it easier to punch the bait. We also, when we baited our hole today, we used range cubes. You can get these at any feed store. Uh, I buy a 50 pound bag and you can use a 50 pound bag on three or four holes. It'll bait it up. Once you start fishing, it's not a bad idea to use some sour grain. I like a grain scoop and you'll just get some grain just like this right here in your scoop and just take it and pitch it out. Works great. The grain scoop works good. Then you don't get it on your hands near as bad. And last but not least, if you're not comfortable handling these fish, we talked about putting them up against the boat to uh, to keep them from wiggling and getting finned. But if you don't want to touch them, guys, the fish grip is by far the best tool to grip a catfish, especially with kiddos and stuff around. Uh, these grips are great. You never have to touch the catfish and uh, you can release these fish, put them right in the cooler or in the water. So with that said, I think this covers the gear that we use today. Hey, listen, Channel Catfish is a fun, fun fish to catch. You can catch a ton of fish like we did this morning. We've been here two hours. We've already got 40 fish in the boat and we've never fished this lake before. If we can do it, you can do it. Until next time, Bear will be back next week. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the water.